자 이번에는 부가 퀘스트 빙의 퀘스트입니다. 세리스를 도와주는 거고요. 여기서 세리스 도와주면은 또 왕에 오르는 어 선의 선 먼저 퀘스트라고 할수 있습니다. 이거를 깨야 내가 왕권을 도전할 수가 있죠. 자 모달리크에게 세리스 행방을 물어보러 갑시다. 공부 게시판 볼 때마다 한 번씩 봐주고요. 이런 데서 자네요. 이다 들어오는데. 자, 우선 아침까지 자겠습니다. 해주고 막 사람들에게 물어보죠. 오 no. 물어볼만한 사람이 없네요 사람이 없어 요렇듯이 
is it? Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler. Hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you found her. Or near to. Last was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand. They live toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. Could Sorry you? to interrupt. You need some? Thanks, but I'm... Crack on crates, daughter. Take care. Not like my good for nothing friend. I'll be a priestess when I grow up. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father. Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Swarming like gulls around the waist heap. Ah, I'd be sure we showed them. We? Seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. Thanks for your help. Did it once, maybe you can do it again. Well, we'll have to think about it. Busy the day me fishing got nets to mend. No time to fight monsters. It's not drowners this time. It's Ceres. I'm looking for her. I fine looking girl. Can tell right away she's from a good clan. Left her sitting right here when I sailed out to bring in the morning catch. She say where she was headed? Uh, wouldn't tell a stranger, but we did risk our hides together. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. She say where... Uh, what? Any idea why she came here? Just about out.
유비가 뭔가 이상하네요. 유비 따라 안 가겠습니다. 이렇게 가서 이렇게 온 김에 대장간에서 아이템 좀 팔고 할게요. 여기 마침 대장간 있네요. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear, or didn't want to hear. Some folk on the isle had the same doubt, but none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udalric's the chosen one, the one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udalric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udalric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udalric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. 
What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udalric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.자 내려가기 전에 항상 저장 사용 사용 되죠? 
by the mouth of the bay. The current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. We gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Time to end this. Must be the place. If anything, and to see Udalric.
That's great. But as God is continental Jamie's coming. What is this? Godlike. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Himes' lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Hmm. And what about the other method? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. 
The more pain the Heim causes, Rudelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it would be to you. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's Lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Shattered. Ludelrick must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Fitter must have been from the continent. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. An old cradle must have belonged to Udalric or Aki. With anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the feed! In the oven! Throw him in the oven!
The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You're disoriented, but don't worry, it'll pass. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that... You're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres. <목소리도> 이렇게 해서 킹이 퀘스트를 했고요. 레벨업도 이어비나 했네요. 이제 입읍시다. 붓슬기 다 찍어주고 그 다음 이어서 분쇄 찍어주도록 할게요. 결정화된 정수라는 아이템도 얻었고요. 그 다음에 어, 퀘스트로 왕의 책략이라는 퀘스트가 생깁니다. 여기가 드디어 누가 왕이 될지 결정할 수 있는 퀘스트고요. 이게 또 많은 여러 가지 스토리가 또 나눠집니다. 공기점도 있고요. 자, 시청해주셔서 감사합니다. 다음 영상에서 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다.